In this tutorial, we'll walk through how to compare a few images that you've measured. So I'm just starting off in my image table and I'm just gonna quickly pull up two images that I've measured just for this tutorial. And I've added the compare tag just so I can quickly find the two that I know I wanna compare. But I'm gonna just select these two images just like I would if I were to select one to go measure it. But this time I'm gonna hit the view results button and it's gonna open up the results side by side for these images. So this page should look similar to the results pages that you've seen in the other tutorials where we've walked through the results for the various scenes. The only thing that's different here is that we of course have several images pulled up. So I can individually pan and zoom around in these images so maybe I want to make sure that the boat appears to be a somewhat similar scale in these images because they're taking a different zoom. So I can do that here. And then we have the exact same plots here, except that we have both of the images plotted on the same graph. So this makes it super, super easy to compare setups. Um, again, if the same toggle options are available, if you want to compare absolute numbers and not look at the actual plotted curve, if you want to go to full screen, you can do that here and the lines here are labeled. In this case, I just measured the leech of these sails, but if you, in the upwind chase scene, measured leech, miter, and luff, of course, all those would be labeled here as well. Um, you can still toggle to the absolute mode, which is also really helpful. If, again, you want to go measure, change the measurements and where you placed points on an image, you can do that here with the measurement dropdown. And of course, the same notes functionality exists here. The one thing to take note of when you are commenting on an image in a compare view is that you need to select from the drop down the image that you're commenting on because comments live with that specific image file. So if I were to pull that image up in another compare view, the same comments would show up here in the thread. So just make sure you select the appropriate image that you'd like to comment on. And of course, if you want to download a PDF report, this entire view, absolute and relative numbers included, will be downloaded to your computer in a PDF report. 